Hello, everybody. Pastor Scott here reaching out to you regarding our church's plans uh, in light of the coronavirus epidemic and uh, just wanted to go over some things with you uh, that we will move forward with. I have uh, talked with our trustees and we're in agreement that we need to do what is safe and what is uh, in obedience to those who are in leadership over us at the federal level and the state level. Um, we will uh, do some things uh, that are going to uh, change the way we do church, but we will still be doing church. Um, this was a prayerful consideration, and this is something that we did not take lightly. So uh, be patient with us and understand that we're doing this for everyone's good. Um, the first thing I want to go over is we're going to stay connected with one another. We all have phones and te text messages, and we can call one another and encourage one another. You can call me at any time and uh, stay in touch with me, and uh, we can encourage one another. There's no reason to fear, no reason to panic. Uh, we're all going to get through this, and I believe that with all of my heart. Number two, uh, our Wednesday evening Bible study is going to be canceled until after the 1st of April, and then we will reevaluate and uh, regroup and see where we're at at that point. Uh, also, um, the eat and greet that we had scheduled for the 29th, it would not be safe uh, for, you know, sometimes we have upwards of 100 people coming to that and, and eating and sharing from dishes. So we're going to postpone that till a later time. Also, uh, Sunday services. This is the uh, important part here. Sunday services will consist of two separate times. We're going to have a service at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. And uh, those services will be broken into two different groups. We'll have a group of 10 to 12 in the sanctuary and then we'll have a group of 10 to 12 in the dining hall. And in both of those groups, uh, we are going to, to have prayer time, uh, a time to share hope, uh, a time of giving a word from the Lord, and uh, we will be praying one with the other. Now, praying one with the other does not mean that we have to lay hands on one another, but we can still pray and be effective prayerfully uh, even with social distancing. Um, this will accommodate about 20 people, 20 to 22 people in each service, one at 10 and one at 11. And if you come for the 10, 10 o'clock service and there is uh, an overrun of people, then please be patient and come back at the 11 a.m. service. And uh, we, we will do the best that we can with this. On our Wednesday and our Sunday service, we will be doing uh, Facebook live streaming so that those who are not healthy enough or do not feel safe coming to the house of God will be able to hear a sermon, an encouraging sermon, and uh, we will have prayer over that Facebook live uh, uh, broadcast. So we encourage you to be a part of that. Those who do not have Facebook and do not uh, have an active involvement in social media. We will record the audio from those uh, sermons and times, and we will put them on CD, and we'll be glad to deliver them to your house. Um, if you need me to come to your house uh, because you're sick and need prayer, I will be more than happy to do that. Uh, we are not stopping having church. And I want to make this very clear. There are a lot of people right now that are uh, all over social media, religious folks that mean well, and they are faith shaming others because they're not having a full-blown service. And I want to let you know that we do not agree with that in any way, shape, or form. We believe that we're just having uh, church just a different way. And we're still coming together, encouraging one another, building up each other up, uh, it, this is no different than if we would have a major catastrophe uh, and we would have to cope with that. So we're just doing church uh, a little differently. Uh, also, we are going to have baptisms after the 11 o'clock service on Sunday. And um, 
those are going to be uh, for the baptismal candidate and up to 10 people uh, that will be able to attend that. Uh, we don't want to stop people from being baptized. We will not stop people from being saved. Uh, we are going to encourage people just like we do in normal service. Uh, but we are going to have to uh, curtail some things. And uh, we're going to have a great time in the Lord. If you're sick, please call me. Uh, we will pray, and we can pray in many different ways. I will come to you. You do not have to come to me. Uh, we'll pray in agreement with you. We'll anoint you with oil. We will bring a prayer cloth that you can wear on your body. But we are still going to continue to pray for the sick. Uh, we want you to know that we love you and care about you greatly. We cannot do church without you. Uh, during our services, we will uh, have a time of giving. And also, you can continue to give by the Givelify app. If you have that on your phone, there is a button on the Facebook page that takes you directly there, and you can give your uh, normal contributions through that avenue. Uh, I wish this were different, but we cannot control the times or seasons. But we can cope uh, and learn how to do what we need to do. Uh, the closer we get to the coming of the Lord, these things are going to happen, and we're living in the end times. So let's prepare. Let's do this right. And let's rejoice and be glad with one another. Uh, we're implementing all of these measures until April 2nd, and then we will reevaluate our plan and go from there. Thank you so much. We love you. If you have any questions, please call me, and I'll be glad to help you with any of uh, your questions. God bless, and we hope you have a great day.